This is America, Lois. Men have always run things, and there have never been any problems whatsoever. And don't say the economy or Iraq or income inequality or racism or Brett Kavanaugh or air pollution or Vietnam or slavery or Watergate or capitalism or Me Too or homelessness or police brutality or homophobia or Monica Lewinsky or school shootings or Native American genocide or Fox News or Tim Allen or climate change. Uh, yeah, make a... Girl, let's go to the club and pop our pussy. Jacket and the thick accent like, Maybe it's all in my head But I bet we'd have really good back How you pick me up Pull the bells all your own The way I know you want this potion I'll hack feel up the test you You'll beg me to come sex you Be dressy, crazy I just want you to fuck me I'll Conversations black people aren't ready to have You can't be out here screaming Black Lives Matter If you're homophobic and or transphobic I'm going to say it again. You cannot be out here screaming Black Lives Matter if you are homophobic and or transphobic. Because, bae, that's not how that shit works. You don't get to pick and choose which black lives to give a fuck about. But I know y'all not ready for that conversation. Do you support Black Lives Matter? Yes. Do you support LGBTQ? Because I thought you should know. Because you thought I should know. Because I wanted you to know. Because I wanted you to know. Chase the kind of song that makes a man love a man. A man love a man. A man love a man. Chase the kind of song that makes a man love a man. A man love a man. A man love a man. I'm literally a minor. You're 24. When did that happen? <laughs> you so crazy. I think I want to have your baby. Yo, if you're friends with a trans person, it is not your job to go around telling people they're trans. Leave that up to us, or if anything, ask us first, because just going around telling people, especially behind our backs, it makes things way more awkward for us than it needs to be. Plus, not everyone needs to know. Y'all, this is my bitch, Scotty. And I'm from the South. She runs the South. I got a small dick, but wait till it get hard. She gonna be like, damn, shit, my God. Do you support Black Lives Matter? Yes. Do you support LGBTQ? I'm black. You're what? John, how come you didn't tell me you were black, you lying son of a b You know how much I hate n****. My family hates n****. Oh, you disgust. Nothing makes me scared. Do you see my hands? Do they look like they shaking to you? here before we late to church now little girl come on now turn around let me see the back take a picture now pose so i can send it to your auntie them come on girl stop playing with me now come on so i can zip you up time wasn't right this isn't how life is supposed to be has made this dramatic of a change yet no one has made in my generation this 
extreme. Don't fight me when I say this because I know how you girls like to tussle. But genuinely, cis women be taking their issues up with cis men, with trans men, because you cannot talk to a cis man the way y'all be talking to trans men and like policing and policing trans men. I feel like that's why people do it. Because if you do it to a cis man, you're going to get your ass beat. If you do it to a trans man, he'll just feel bad about himself. And then you can walk away feeling good because you put a man in his place. But really, that's not really what happened, girl. That's not really what happened, girl. And I think we need to really talk about this weird ass like feminist movement of like owning trans masks um, and feeling like you're fighting the patriarchy at the same time because, girl, you're not. Girl, you're not. Girl, you're not. Like, and I feel like we need to fucking start talking about that because genuinely, you bitches are weird. Y'all are fucking weird. Can any Japanese American trans men relate to this? When I speak English, I'm. Since that video, I've learned a lot more about um, how to speak Japanese more masculinely. And so I really want to give back to the community that helped me. And so I'm thinking about offering Japanese lessons, particularly for people who want to learn to speak more masculinely or more femininely or in a more gender affirming way, um, because there's not a lot of information out there about it. Well, for trans people or queer people that are trying to learn Japanese. Um, I can also talk about cultural things um, and also uh, if you're interested Okinawan language and Okinawan culture. Um, yeah, so if you're interested, leave a comment and then I'll have more information about the lessons. A while ago, I saw a trans guy make a joke about how, like, what the transgenders don't tell you is that when you go on testosterone, you lose your ability to meow back at your cats. I thought he was joking, but I just tried to meow at my cat and it sounded terrible. I'm usually so good at meowing that, like, when I meow, other people in the house think it's a cat. <laughs> Burb, I'm gonna stop testosterone. Something that I've been told is that there's a surplus of transgender men compared to transgender women, right? I think that's a fucking lie. Because as soon as I got out of high school, as soon as I got 18, everyone around me that I knew was a transgender male started detransitioning. Like, what, what happened, guys? Like, I'm glad the lesbian community is growing, but... Come on, guys. Like, I can't be alone in this. I can't go through this alone. Someone needs to experience this with me. Someone needs to experience what it feels like to be a teenage boy all over again. I need to know where you guys are at because I have not seen any of you guys. I'm, I feel like, I feel like I'm good at, like, spotting. Like, not clocking, but, like, I can feel it. So, help. This is America, Lois. Men have always run things, and there have never been any problems whatsoever. And don't say the economy, or Iraq, or income inequality, or racism, or Brett Kavanaugh, or air pollution, or Vietnam, or slavery, or Watergate, or capitalism, or Me Too, or homelessness, or police brutality, or homophobia, or Monica Lewinsky, or school shootings, or Native American genocide, or Fox News, or Tim Allen, or climate change. Uh, you make a good point. It's my curse. Literally. I can't take this off ever. Our next contestant is Warren. He's okay, so there's no more balloons, so go ahead and go. Nigga, the, the table you gave, the first seat you gave me, was it nine or seven? This is table nine right here. Okay, answer my question with a fucking yes okay. or no, bro. Was it yet? Was it nine I'm or seven? I'm gonna circle this. What this, is not, this is nine. Do you not get the concept? <laughs>
Do you think I'm an athlete? What are you talking about? Well, you know, I think I'm an athlete, and sometimes I feel like you guys don't see me that way. Civilization. Just half. The male half! You did all this because of one- Hello, I think being trans is a mental illness and I'm very upset that Imani Khalif was able to participate in women's boxing. So actually, she's not a man. She was born a woman. She was just born with X and Y chromosomes. Uh, yeah, and only men have X and Y chromosomes. That's also false. There are a lot of cases where men can sometimes be born with X and X chromosomes and women can be born with X and Y chromosomes, but that has nothing to do with the genitalia that they are born with and what gender they are assigned at at birth. Okay, but they said that he had high levels of testosterone and only men have testosterone. That's also false. Men and women are both born with both estrogen and testosterone. Some people just produce more than others. Well, I don't care. He, he's still a man. Well, she was born with female genitalia and female reproductive organs. Well, I don't care about genitalia. It doesn't matter what genitalia you have. If you look like a man, then you are a man. If I think you're a certain gender and you look like that gender, then you are... My little lady. Hello, Mom. What are I you was... doing with my stuff? I...
Chloe, are you okay? You seem upset. Thanks for being so observant, Yasmin. I am upset. But why? You have natural blonde hair. Cameron cheated on me again, but this time it was with my brother. Oh. But anytime I express any upset about it, my parents freak. They say, Chloe, stay woke. Don't get us all canceled. Like, what the fuck? My high-functioning anxiety disorder can't take it anymore. Oh, Angel, you got cheated on. This is the one instance you're allowed to be homophobic? Yeah, Chloe, say fuck them gays. Say it! Fuck them gays. I'll have a mocha caramel latte chino made with skim milk, no whipped cream. Please put that in a grande cup. But use the same amount of coffee that you'd put into a tall. That way there's about an inch of extra room on top to stir in my own nutmeg without sp How old do you think Daddy is? 42. Oh, um, uh, uh, I, I mean, I mean, Daddy's old. I think he's seven. <laughs> <laughs> You want trans mask friends or you want to be in a relationship with a trans mask, here's how to find us. Of course, everyone knows that we hang out at thrift shops, record shops, coffee shops, bookshops, tattoo shops, piercing shops. But here are other places that you might not thought of. You just need to chant three times at a mirror, I need a strong boy to help me with something and we will appear right behind you because we just show up when needed and then we evaporate into the Kiev we'll roll you along with. You can find us frolicking around drag shows tending to the queen's and king's needs. Also find us frolicking around in the twilight between worlds where dreams and realities blend. You can find us turning our old t-shirts into muscle tees five minutes before leaving the house. You can also find us in the cages of capitalism work daydreaming about not working in any other thing than collecting funds for our brothers and sisters to get their gender affirming surgeries oh and also daydreaming about becoming the human version of the alice in wonderland caterpillar as soon as they get home you can also find us on an arcade any day during the week trying to be a simp and get a stuffed animal for our partner in the claw machine and failing miserably at it um, also competing on Mario Kart like our life depended on it and playing Time Crisis, probably. You can also find us collecting trinkets, things from Zelda, Spider-Man or Legos. You can also find trans masks in the toy aisle of Walmart one hour before they close. This one is a secret spot but you can find us following stray cats on the street. If you can't find trans masks at night, is probably because they're getting baked while baking and having a movie night with their polycule. So yeah. If I missed your hanging out spot, please let me know because I would also love to find you. <laughs> Next time my dick is limp from all the meds, don't go all, oh, it's okay, wet, wet, suck it hard. Feet, who would it be? My beautiful girlfriend Kaylee. Now, she don't count. You do that anyway. Megan Fox. See this body, see this body, see this body's not for me. And the way my bones are breaking is the way my skin will bleed. So I put out my fists and you mark both my hands with little X's that mean that I am extra unsafe. Where did you spy? I know you wanna fuck this. Turn around, let me hit you with that dumb dick. My nigga told me take a look at that bitch. So I took another look at that. This is my boyfriend Derek. This is Derek's boyfriend Ben. Hey. Hey. Oh. Wait, sorry, what's the situation? What do you mean? H how does this work? Derek is gay, but he's straight for me, but he's gay for Ben, and Ben's really gay for Derek. And I hate Ben. It's not that complicated. No. Oh, yeah. Sure. <laughs> Tell me. How'd you like to rub it from the inside, mouse boy? 
sorry, I'm, I'm a little confused. You are the guy. You're capable of being the guy. I had a guy, but now I do. You are the guy. So Excuse me, barmaid. I'm afraid you brought me the wrong offspring. I ordered an extra large boy with beefy arms, extra guts and glory on the side. This here, this is a talking fish bone. Yeah. That's such a weird thing to say to someone. Be softer, be more feminine. How about lick on my nuts? How about suck and lick on my little nuts? Am I planting, girl, we planting. I live up in a mansion. Am I planting, girl, we planting. I live up in a mansion. And when you think of me, am I the best you've ever had? Do you know you have 30 minutes? Are you kidding me? 30, 30, 30, 30, yes. Well, first things first, have you thought about just apologizing? That was pretty bad. Hello, but I'm not sorry. Hmm. All right, that definitely makes it harder. Yeah! Oh God, I'm beautiful! Oh God, I'm wonderful! Marvelous, intelligent, so why does it that make me feel? I'm a man who's got very specific taste. Google, stop showing me sex ads. I know there are desperate sluts in the area. I have a mirror! I'm Cody, pronouns E M R R S or Z Zen Zers, or really any neo pronouns that aren't Z her hers. Do you know you have 30 minutes? Are you kidding me? 30, 30, 30 minutes! 30, 30, yes! <laughs> If you are a trans person of any flavor, I need you to start documenting your life. I don't care if you write it down, if you make videos about it, if you, I don't know, start a podcast, whatever you want to do. Even if you think that you're not that special, that your transition isn't that big of a deal, I promise you that it is. Think about it. We do not have enough elders in our community, but suddenly there's a whole wave of trans people, which is beautiful. It is amazing. And I need us as a collective to start thinking about like the impact that we're going to have on next generations i need you to realize how valuable is that how you say that yeah how valuable your experience and your stories are gonna be for generations to come i need you to go outside i need you to live your life i need you to live period but i i need you to think about how important it is that you are alive and how amazing it's gonna be when we become the elders and we actually have stories to tell write it down in your journal anything your coming out story your first shot the 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 fifth shot your first time doing the deed anything any inner conflict your inner monologue write it down especially if you are black brown asian or of any ethnicity that isn't do it because if you're anything like me you also struggle to find role models to see a vision to have a blueprint to feel motivated to exist out and loud and proud in this world because there is such a lack of representation if you're young like if i i know a lot of my followers are young guys if you're 15 16 think about you know how many kids didn't get to transition in the ways that you guys get to do now just five years ago 10 years ago people are gonna make movies about us about our existence people are gonna make documentaries people are going to look for references because right now we're, we're like in a baby stage but think about the impact, bro. Think about the impact that your story, your experiences could have on somebody else, on on the kids that grew up just like us, the, the people that think the way that we do. Like, come on, yo. I urge you to do it, even if you never post it or if you don't plan on posting it right now. So I made a video the other day about where to find beautiful, gorgeous dolls to become friends with. And a natural question that a lot of you had was, where do I find trans men? And I love y'all's enthusiasm, but I'm gonna let you know now, it's actually not that simple. Um, trans men are running around in the shadow realm. Trans men are jumping between realities, shifting between dimensions, and not in the weird ass psychotic way that y'all talk about shifting on this app. I mean, they are really dematerializing molecule by molecule. 
and shifting into dimensions with beings that you could not even fucking fathom. And I say that because I don't ever see those bitches out and they're doing one of two things. They are mastering the art of stealth or I don't know where the fuck they are. They got a secret club. I, 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 I don't know what to tell you. Occasionally, occasionally a man walks into my establishment of work and orders something at my counter and there's an energy, there's a vibe, there's an aura um, that lets me know something transgender may be in the air other than myself. But beyond that, I don't see him out. I don't see him up. I don't see him down. They, they are convening in ways that I don't think I have the information to be able to translate to all of you. Um, I know what I know, and I've seen what I've seen. Trans men are operating on an echelon that I, I don't think that I have access to. Um, and so just keep your expectations realistic. You know what I mean? And that's really all I can say. Do you know you have 30 minutes? Are you kidding? 30, 30, 30 minutes. 30, 30, 30. Listen, I don't know how serious I am when I say this, but I'm about to start gatekeeping binders and tape from white people. I've been out as trans for two years. Less than six months ago, I finally found a brand of tape that matches my skin tone. Just tape. They don't have any binders that match. <laughs> Just tape. So I still have to use a binder that doesn't match my skin tone whatsoever. Until I saw a video today of a brand releasing a binder that finally matches my skin tone. And you want to know why I'm upset? The first comment, the top comment on the video was, thanks, but I'm too white to wear this. Did we see the model in the video? Did we watch the video? Did you see who was wearing the binder? What did they look like? Because I can have so many conversations about white people decentering themselves in the world in general and they still don't do it they still think those brown binders are for them to look cute in and to be aesthetically pleasing not for the brown queer people brown envy people brown people who bind that want to just fucking bind and be comfortable and look at themselves in the mirror and be like oh great it's me white people not everything is for you i'm sick of saying it i'm sick of having to say it not Everything on this planet is for you. I'm sorry I haven't written for a while, but I've been trying hard not to be a loser. What a great day to be pansexual. I have to say that I'm pansexual because that means that I like trans people. Why should I listen to you when you don't even know what gender you are? Oh my god, gender envy! What's in your pants? It's not gay to find you attractive because you look like a girl. Mm. How much? I let it go for about forty dollars. Forty dollars? Out of fucking with them lane. Come for with some bosses, baby. Come on, baby. She don't want no puppy. She want a big dog. Big dog. Wash my clothes the other day. Get it. The way that I would let this man <laughs> me is ridiculous. Pump face, fuck that bitch. I pass it to my brody. Yeah. Pump face, fuck it. Pump face to my brody. Yeah. Pump face, I don't need no bitch. I got another one. Pump face. like a girl am i a pretty girl oh well um you're you're beautiful you opened your heart to me we're soulmates joe what the fuck and i'ma let you do it how you wanna girl, I'm